Hi, I'm Melisandre Rougier of Diagnostic Imaging Europe, live at ECR 2024. I'm at the Bracus booth with Fabio Tedaldi, head of global R&D at Bracus. How are you, Fabio? I'm fine, and you? I'm great. So um, please tell me, um, innovation is one of the key topics of ECR 2024. For example, the innovation focus program. So I was wondering, what does innovation mean to Braco? What are you currently doing in this respect? Okay, so um, thank you for uh, for this question. It's a very good one because uh, innovation is not one only not only the, one of the major topic for uh, for ECR, but it's one of the major topic for us as uh, as well. And uh, um, I have to say I'm very uh, proud, somehow honored uh, to lead the R&D of uh, Braco, a company that uh, um, has uh, launched uh, a number of innovative uh, products. So going back to uh, 81, uh, we, we launched the first uh, um, non-ionic contrast agent for X-ray. And then in the, in the 90s, the first high relaxation uh, um, uh, contrast media for, uh, for MR. And then later in uh, 2000, and uh, the uh, ultrasound uh, contrast agent with the largest number of uh, uh, indication also also today okay and uh, um uh, today uh, we want to, to go on along this uh, this path. Uh, we are not uh, uh, happy and even if we have uh, just launched uh, in 2022 and 2023 a second generation MR uh, agent with uh, superior relaxivity and uh, uh, PSMA uh, PET agent, uh, we are working to go beyond and for instance for MRI we are working on uh, contrast media with uh, different uh, paramagnetic uh, metals in order to make them more sustainable as well as in uh, PET, we don't only want to target PSMA, but also, for instance, uh, the uh, fibroblast uh, activation uh, protein. And uh, even more uh, interesting and somehow unique for, uh, for Braco in, uh, in ultrasound, we want to move ultrasound toward the era of uh, precision medicine. Okay, great. And um, in terms of um, diagnostic imaging, what do you anticipate will be the trends in the near future? Okay, probably to talk about uh, the, the trends for, uh, for diagnostic imaging, we have uh, first to look at the, uh, the major trends in, uh, in healthcare in, uh, in general. So, first of all, for me, uh, we have to consider that uh, the, the aging of the population that uh, will uh, force somehow to have uh, more examination, uh, to take care of more older people, and there will be a reduced number of uh, people paying for, uh, for that. So, one of our uh, mottos somehow is that uh, any patient that needs a contrast enhanced procedure must have a contrast enhanced procedure. And that's not an easy challenge mm -hmm. today because it means that in our uh, manufacturing we have to adopt very innovative uh, processes and we have to make uh, all this uh, uh, sustainable. Uh, mm -hmm. somehow and uh, that means that we are working both in the manufacturing in the primary packaging in the secondary packaging in the recovery of the unused material as well as uh, we are also sponsoring uh, uh, programs for the recovery of uh, um, iodinated agent and gadolinium based contrast agent from the urine of the patient in a uh, let's say uh, circular economy uh, perspective this one is one of the topics of sustainability if you mm -hmm. want the other big uh, trend in uh, care in, in medicine is uh, precision. Mm -hmm. So there are a number of, uh, well, with all the knowledge that has been accumulated, uh, we have now a number of new solutions like uh, immunotherapy or uh, uh, therapies with uh, radioisotope and, and so on. But again, in order to make them uh, sustainable, we need diagnostic. Maybe not only in vivo diagnostic, which are our field, but diagnostic in general, in vitro and, uh, and in vivo, to select those patients that can uh, benefit, to avoid uh, administering drugs which are uh, unuseful and creating unuseful uh, uh, cost uh, somehow. So mm -hmm. we have a number of programs in uh, precision uh, medicine, as said, uh, starting from uh, um, nuclear medicine that mm -hmm. has the sensitivity to be the um, 
election technique for, uh, for, for that. So on PSMA, we are not only working on diagnostic, but also to use the same time of vectors to create therapeutic drugs. But what I want to mention here, again, I'm very proud of, of this, we're probably the only company that believes that we can do molecular imaging, so being very specific in uh, recognizing some overexpressed protein, for example, with other uh, platform, for instance, ultrasound. And we are today in clinical uh, development uh, of a product for ultrasound, which is able to selectively recognize uh, uh, angiogenesis and so to better treat a patient with, uh, with the tumors. Great, wonderful. Thank you so much, Fabio, for your time. Thank you very much. That was Mel Rouget signing up for Diagnostic Imaging Europe.